Good morning. I've got some projects here today in preparation for Hurricane um, Henry, or Henri, if you're French, <laughs> if you like omelets. Um, I was uh, just flew back from North, uh, North Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina yesterday. Planned on being there a few days uh, longer, but wanted to get back up here and prep the boat. And the things I'm going to be doing are I'm taking the dinghy off the bow. You can see in the background. I might store that. I'm not sure. I don't have to take the mainsail down because it's an in-mast furling mainsail. So it basically winds right up in the mast, which is really cool. I just have to secure the clue. My past boat, I had to actually take the mainsail down. This, uh, I will take down the Genoa, which is the, the head sail, the big head sail on the front. I'll take off the canvas, bimini dodger, etc close the through halls, um, maybe double up the lines. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to the mooring attendant about that. He has mixed feelings about that. Uh, maybe throw some fenders out. It's about all I can really do. I charge the batteries, um, lock up the boat. That'd be about it. So that's my, uh, my, ta my boat task for today and I'll take you through some of them. All right, here we go. <laughs> the first task of the day was to um, remove my Tekkacat dinghy from my bow. I already started to do that. Basically, I lifted it up. I bought a harness at West Marine, which was really awesome. My neighbor, which is now here right now, <laughs> his boat's probably been pulled, hauled out, um, <clears throat> has one. It's working really well. So I'm doing that right now. I'm gonna drop the boat down. I had to do that anyway, even if the storm doesn't come through, because this is my car. That's the process I'm doing right now. So I'm just hoisted it up with this winch. Luckily, I have a nice electric winch here. Then what I do is I take a few wraps off this to take the friction off the winch and then I hand lower it down. And it's worked so far, I'm with one person, so I'm gonna do that right now before we get these waves. So I lowered the dinghy down below my lifelines and onto my uh, my rail here. So, that's better. Ooh, there we go. So now, it's, it's pretty easy now, now, unless I drop the boat which would be a big splash. But you can see how she rides really nicely. She sits really nicely right here along my, my bow. So I'm gonna drop her down slowly and finish the rest of the way right now. It's pretty easy to do. Basically, I'm lowering it slowly on this winch and you can see the boat slowly go down until she touches the water. And then we have a splash. Yay! Okay, she's in the water. Awesome. The next thing I did is I pulled down the headsail, and I'll show you what, how I did that. Um, that's just to de decrease the amount of windage or um, things the wind can, things that can catch on the wind and unfurl and mess up and take the boat for a ride or shred the sails or whatever. So I'll show you that next. So I already took down my head sail. Um, wasn't able to photograph it because it's just me doing all this. So uh, it was way up there and now you can see it's nicely <laughs> or not so nicely um, rolled up on the deck here. So I gotta figure somehow, this is a big sail. Um, it's just me. So I gotta figure a way to try to fold this somewhat, try to make it a little bit neat anyway. Because the less wrinkles you put in these, the longer they last. Um, And I did that basically the same exact procedure I followed with the other side. Uh, when I did the, the dinghy, I just wrapped, took some, well, this, this, this way, took some wraps around the winch and then unhooked my um, clam, I think they call them stop cleats or clam cleats or something like that. <clears throat> basically when they're open like this, then the line is free to go through. When they're closed the other way, then it locks them, which is awesome because you can switch lines on one winch. And then I just applied a little bit of pressure to see what would happen. And then there was not much pressure, so I just let it go. And I went up to the bow and pulled it down <coughs> um, while I was trying to wrestle the wind from pulling the sail overboard. <laughs> um, so that's about it for the head sail. Now I just have to unhook it and try to make it neat and, and put it below deck. All right, now I'm taking the, the Dodger off and the Bimini, which are basically the, the two big canvas pieces here. <laughs> the Dodger has a window and stuff, I'll show it to you. Um, <laughs> you get 
<laughs> it was very successful with the Genoa. There's a big heaping mess up there. Um, I'm gonna see if someone would help me with it. It's really, really big and heavy. I might just, I just don't wanna crimple it up. Um, so I'm gonna do what I can uh, now without fooling around with this and spending half the day to try to get this stupid thing folded up. So here is the Dodger. I'm just gonna take this off piece by piece. Never done this before, so <laughs> this video also helps me because <laughs> maybe it'll help me remember how to put this thing back together later. I don't know. Um, I'll probably have to put the camera down because I'm gonna need two hands. <laughs> but I used to be really good at Lego when I was a kid, so this should be easy, right? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put the camera down because it's gonna be a pain to do this with one hand. Got the bimini down. Still a beautiful day out here. Not a lot of boats. <laughs> so here's the, the bimini down. It's really gross because we haven't been here for a week and you can see the seagulls had a great time. It's time to bring this ashore and clean this thing off too. Take the opportunity to do that. Maybe dry it and uh, hit it with some water resistant spray, silicone spray, I think. Might be a good time to do that since it's down. And the Dodger's up there in various components. And the boat's naked. Oh my God, she's naked. Her sails are down. She's totally vulnerable here. We've got the generator running. We can hear it charging the batteries. My sail is in the furler here. I'm gonna wrap the clue around, which is that end piece there, so the wind doesn't catch it. Uh, that's kind of about it. I charge the batteries, bring the dinghy ashore, maybe deflate it, stick it in my car, I don't know, <laughs> or tie it up, don't know yet. All right, that's it. So, update on um, hurricane preparations here in uh, Narragansett Bay on JBY. Uh, sailing vessel Harmony. <laughs> we found a spot. Found a spot up the bay um, at a um, another safe harbor marina. They have a slip for us. So we're heading up there. And um, I'm just going to show you a picture of uh, kind of all the preparations they're doing here. And, and uh, they're fast. I mean, like, they've gotten a lot of boats out of the water very, very quickly. They probably could have gotten to mine, I'm not sure, but uh, you go with the first thing you can get, <laughs> so. Here I am at Safe Harbor, Jamestown Boat Yard, and this was where uh, the dinghy dock was. As you can see, it's not here. It's out there someplace. Looks like they, they stick them on moorings and they just let them free float so they don't damage, get damaged from the, the storm, the surge and stuff. Um, they're running a, a lift out there now to get another boat and it's on this long railroad track it's pretty cool it's pretty impressive there aren't many boats out here now well it's, it's typical it's a lot more and uh, we're about to get underway we're going to take the launch out <clears throat> stow the sail big fluffy sail that Genoa down below for now and figure out what I'm gonna do with it later, I think. And um, just get the engine going, check the oil, get underway, and uh, then we'll get ready to dock. <laughs> that's another adventure. <laughs> I don't dock very often. <laughs> so that's about it for now from JV1 and Sailing Vessel Harmony. So we're sailing to Wickford talking the video. The boat's naked. She doesn't have anything. She's a little exposed. I'm following this other boat down. Had a good run. Cut here quickly. We didn't put up the sail because we only have one and I didn't feel like put it up. The other one's down below in a big heap. Well, actually, we didn't do too bad of a job uh, folding it. Oh, that's okay. It's a video. I didn't realize it was a picture. I thought it was a picture. So we made it to, um, I didn't expect this to be a video, but we made it to um, Wickford. Safe, Safe Harbor Wickford, yep. Yeah. And we didn't hit anything. Nice and slow and smooth, like butter, we came into this oh, spot. Unbelievable. It was awesome. What a captain. Yes, thank He's you. He's going to make a good captain. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's boating. Like I say, the worst day boating is better than the best day on land. There you go. 